Kevin Holland, right? Yeah. Uh, can I just say, I, I, as she knows, I entirely agree with the uh, Honourable Lady for Bradford West in terms of the need for an independent uh, Northern Paris Rail through Bradford from Leeds to Manchester. But um, I don't agree with the Minister, the Shadow Minister, sorry, I agree with the Minister, oh. but the Shadow Minister I don't agree with at all, at all I'm afraid. In his motion today, um, energy, increasing energy costs, high inflation, low growth, higher taxes as a result of the government's long term failures. Absolutely, I have a great deal of time for him, but absolutely wrong on all counts. Energy costs are an international issue. The uh, wholesale price of gas has uh, increased tenfold in little over a year. And that's international, it's not domestic policy. Not domestic policy. I agree we need to do something about it, but it's, it's increased tenfold, principally because of Russia, Russia and China for different reasons. Inflation, an international issue. As I pointed out before, German inflation rate is higher than the UK. It's 5.3%, UK is 5.1%. Uh, US, slightly different calculation, but 6.8% versus the UK is 5.1%. Absolutely wrong again. Low growth, absolutely wrong. The, as my honourable friend, member for Stanford, points out, the OECD says the UK was the fastest growth in the, in the G7 in 2021. It'll be the fastest growth in 2022. Absolutely wrong. Inventory, yeah. You know, I'm pushing my luck by intervening, but I'm sure he won't mind. Um, first of all, it's interesting. When I remember that we had a global financial crisis, I don't remember members opposite highlighting global factors in uh, the causes of that. But just on that point, he will know we had the biggest hit in the pandemic. We fell the furthest. So when we say we have a, a, a projected high growth rate next year, it's because we're bouncing back. The long-term growth rate for this country is under 2%, underneath the historical norm for each of the years we have forecast for once we recover from the immediate hit of the pandemic. And that's the point. That is not successful in sustaining the living standards of this country. And he knows that point. I mean, in terms of long-term productivity, I absolutely agree, but that's not what his motion says. It says low growth. That's absolutely inaccurate. Let's have some facts in this debate. In, in, ter in terms of energy costs, he's absolutely right. We need to, I think we need to intervene in energy costs. The government's not doing nothing. It's consulting now in the right kind of measures. Whether it's VAT in terms of for consumers, whether it's in terms of uh, things like the uh, warm homes discount, whatever else it is, whether it's direct intervention in business, absolutely right that we consult on that and look at that properly. And there are other issues as well, labour costs, supply chains, all those things, vast majority of which are international issues. Yes, of course, there are some Brexit issues too, no doubt about it, of course. But anybody who voted for Brexit and thought you were vote, voting for the status quo it wasn't really reading the facts. So the reality is those things have to be dealt with, but they're short-term issues that will be dealt with. I think the ease, I would say to the honourable gentleman opposite, is the easiest job in the world is to stand on the sidelines and criticise, which is what he's doing. He's, talk <laughs> yeah. he's, ta he's, talking, about, he's talking about higher taxes. He says criticising higher taxes. Higher taxes? Well, how on earth would he pay for the huge amount of money that's got to go into the NHS over the next few years to ca catch with the backlog. Will he simply borrow more money? Is that what he's going to do? Because that's what that money is there for. And the fact that those businesses aren't even paying those higher taxes yet. They don't kick in until April. Again, the motion is entirely wrong. But in terms of what we should do, he, he mentions in his uh, motion business rates reform. I think his solution is absolutely deluded. A six-fold increase in digital services tax will go straight to consumers, wouldn't hit Amazon and others. Absolutely wrong. He has no long-term detail in terms of what, how to reform, reform business rates. My own view, we should scrap the business rates system completely. It is completely it, it is outdated. It's the wrong system for today. And the, the issue of business rates doesn't just hit retail. It's lots of other channels, lots of other sectors too. For myself, I would, I would scrap it completely, find the, the 30 billion quid, in adding that to VAT because you create an immediate, fair and level playing field for all businesses who trade through whatever channel. Um, and the other thing I would just press the Minister on while he's here, as I mentioned in my question this morning in base questions, look at regional mutual banks. They can have a massive impact in terms of lending to the productive economy to get that growth rate growing to the level we need to pay off this debt. Thank you. Sarah